Today I'm going to show you how to get the Grogmane Event Flag and Grogmane Annual Tankard, or if you already have the Tankard, another mark in it. Alright, first things first, this is a guide for the Sea of Thieves Grogmane Event, or their New Year's Event. Now, this event will last from December 30th at 10am UTC time until January 2nd at 10am UTC time, which is about 3 days, so pretty short event. Now, since it's such a short event, it's also a pretty easy one. Now, how this event is going to work is it has six challenges. Completing a certain number of challenges will get you a specific reward. Now, completing any one of the challenges will get you the Grogmane event flag. Completing two will get you the Bilgerat Celebration Fireworks. Uh, as a note, I have no idea how these fireworks work. I think it either gives you a voyage for it or allows you to purchase it from the merchants, but I have not confirmed that. And then for completing four of the challenges, you will get the Grogmane Annual Tankard. Now, the Grogmane Tankard is actually a special kind of item. Now, how this thing works is essentially every time you obtain it, it will become a upgraded version. So originally, the Grogmane Tankard had one mark in the side here. The second one has two marks, and the third one has three marks. So this is your third year of completing Grogmane, you will get the third annual tankard, which has three marks. If it's your second year, you'll get the second annual tankard, which has two marks. And if it's your first year, you'll get the first annual tankard, which has one mark. All right, now just quickly, if you want to track any of the challenges, you can either go to seathieves.com slash grogmane, which I'll link in the description, or go into your menu, pirate log, season eight, events, special events, grogmane, and then there's the rewards and the challenges. So it's all in here. Now, as I said, there are six challenges, and these six challenges have a couple things in common. First of all, you have to be sick to complete any of them, which means you need to drink at least three tankards of grog. Now, these challenges do seem to be a tiny bit finicky, so one way to tell if you've completed the challenge is you will get 5,000 gold. So if you see a 5,000 gold thing pop up, that means you've completed one of the challenges. And again, if you want to make sure something counted, you can check in your menu. Now, quickly, if you're not really sure how grog works, on your ship, there is this barrel. You can go up to it with your tankard, refill your tankard, and, and drink it. Drink three full glasses to get the full effect. Also, if you happen to run into a chest of a thousand grogs, these can help you out quite a bit as you can refill your tankard from them, meaning you can do it on an island. And one last note, jumping in the water or getting splashed with water will lessen the effect of the grog, sometimes making it so the challenges won't count anymore, so try to avoid water if possible. Now, let's get to the challenges. For a staggering success, drink three glasses of grog and then dig up treasure chests. Now, this one should be super easy. Just grab a gold hoarder voyage or grab a captain's voyage, specifically a prized treasure hunt voyage. This will give you one island with multiple dig points. Head there, try and memorize where your chests are, drink three glasses of grog, jump off the ship, go dig them up. For dropping the ball, you need to drink three glasses of grog and then hit an enemy ship with a cannonball. Now for this, you probably just wanna either get into a fight while well, drunk, find another ship that will help you with it. Or your third option, which might be the easiest, is finding a skeleton ship, because apparently skeleton ships do in fact count for this challenge. So if you're having trouble finding a player ship, you can just look for ones with the spooky lights or go to one of the ship clouds in the sky. Quick side note here, I don't recommend attempting to do this in an hourglass fight, as you won't be able to drink grog in the tunnel or before you surface. So you'd have to surface, drink through glasses, and then try and shoot. It's not not an option, but I wouldn't recommend it. For Drowned Sorrows, you need to drink three glasses of Grog and then defeat three Ocean Crawlers. Now, because of how Ocean Crawlers spawn, this one, in theory, could be super annoying depending on your luck. Now, what I would say is don't focus on this one, but if, while you're doing your other things, you happen to run into a group of Ocean Crawlers, bring them to the shore, run back to your boat, drink three glasses of Grog, then head over and either blunderbust them or you can try and use your cannons to kill them. Or even better, if you can find a keg, set it up in between them and then chuck like a blunder bomb at it or something. For sick burn, drink three glasses of grog and then defeat skeletons using fire bombs. This one's pretty easy. Just grab an order of souls voyage, go to the island, drink three glasses, chuck a fire bomb at a group of skeletons. And then you may have to repeat this a couple times depending on how big your waves are. For dinner and drinks, you need to drink three glasses of grog and then capture a chicken, pig, and snake. Now, frankly, you only need to do four of the six challenges to get everything, and I would say skip this one. This one is kind of a pain. I I just don't like it. Now, my reasoning behind this is first, you'd have to go to the Merchant Alliance, purchase one of their voyages, put it down. Then you have to get lucky enough to get all three types of crates. Then you'll pick them up from the merchants. And then you have to go to a minimum of two islands because islands can only have two of the three types of animals. And then you have to drink three glasses of grog and then chase the animal around and then catch it. Now again, I would just say skip this one, but if you have to do it, I 
kind of just explained how it works. The next and final challenge is Chandra the Sea. For this one, you need to drink three glasses of grog and then defeat a shark. Now, the hardest part about this one is actually finding a shark. So to increase your chances, you want to look for either a shipwreck or a megalodon. Then either defeat the megalodon or go to the shipwreck and then just swim around for a bit. Sharks have an increased spawn rate around either of these things and generally you'll have one within a couple minutes. Now, once you find your shark, then go back to your ship, drink your grog, and you're gonna wanna grab a flintlock and an air of reach. Now, because going into the water will decrease your grog effect quite quickly, it's best to attempt to do this from your ship, so just shooting the shark from out of the water. It might be kinda hard, but it's better than defeating the shark and then it not counting. All right, now those are the six challenges. Remember, you only need to complete four to complete the event completely. There's a lot of completes. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll translate them as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, that'd be great. I post these, these guides like this all the time, so that sounds like something that'd be interesting to you. If you would consider subscribing, that'd mean a lot. And I will see you guys next year. Bye.